Hello and welcome to Evenings with Anna. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back, my dreamers. Where to start and where to begin? As you guys know, I have struggled with depression for many, many, many years. And right now I'm going through, uh, I'm going through a bump. I'm definitely going through a bump. And I've been struggling a bit. And you guys noticed it in my last Dollar Tree haul, in my last car haul. A lot of you noticed it. I didn't post anything on Sunday. I just... You know when you just can't get yourself together, it doesn't matter what you decide to do. And you wake up and the whole day just slips past you and then you look out the window and it's nighttime. Yeah, it's, it's happening again. And, um, first thing is recognizing it and step two is doing something about it. So I recognized it and I went to the park. I went to the Dollar Tree, spent a little time in there. You know, I like shopping. I like looking for new, new treasures, new finds, things for my home, things for my kids. Christmas is right around the corner and I need to find them things for their stockings and stuff like that. So I like going in there. That's me walk a little bit at a slow pace. Um, and it gives me something to do besides, you know, just, uh, doing home stuff, you know, something that breaks up the monotony, uh, and gives me a little, you know, something different to do. So I went to the park, well, at least my community park and I sat out there and I, was taking in the sights and a really relaxing watching the water and they had the fountain on which was really nice and it was very it helped me find my inner wasa it it really helped me uh sometimes we need to find ourselves again when we feel lost I haven't gotten down to the point, as you guys know, I haven't gotten down to the point where I'm crying all day and all night for no reason. That's when I have to get back on medication. I haven't gotten to that point. <laughs> I haven't, but I've been there several times. Like I said, I've struggled with this for years and I recognize the signs. And, um, I don't want you guys to worry because I want y'all to know that I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to change things up. I'm trying to address some things. I'm trying to take care of me. Uh, I actually put on jewelry today. Uh, yeah, but it's definitely a struggle. You kind of shut down. You kind of shut everybody out. Yeah, it's definitely a struggle. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, so today I cut my finger and I, it hurts like a Dickens and I need to take my shower and then put a bandaid on it after I take my shower. Um, because I was making dinner for my, for my kids. Uh, I was making them their meal and I wanted something that was comforting. So today I'll tell you what I made. Okay, and the culprit behind this cut on my finger. So today I decided that I needed to, you know, rotate some of my stock, some of my food stock, things in my pantry. And that's what we have to do as preppers. We have to go through our stuff and use our stuff. So um, I decided, because I have like three loaves of bread and uh, one of them is starting to see better days. So I was like, let me go ahead and hurry up and use that up. Or if not, I'm going to have to make like a bread pudding or something with it, right? But it's not enough to make a bread pudding. So I was like, okay, let me see what I could try to make with it today. And so I toasted up. Everybody got one piece of toast. Toasted up with nothing else on it. Just a nice toasted bread. Um, some mashed potatoes. Seasoned mashed potatoes. Lightly seasoned mashed potatoes. Then I opened up two cans of chicken. Of the Great Valley Walmart chicken. Drained them cooked them, sauteed them on a pan. I don't know if you should use the word sauteed or cooked, but I like the word sauteed. <laughs> Even though I didn't have no onions or nothing in it. I mean, I did put onion powder in it. I seasoned them up really good and I cooked them up 
in the pan until they were, you know, very, very well cooked and, you know. Then um, I used some of the Dollar Tree gravy that I bought in a, in the in the glass, those bigger ones that they have in the glass. And I prefer a brown gravy, and those are like a light brown gravy, meaning it's like a turkey gravy. And we had some leftover brown gravy from another meal, so I kind of combined those two just so I wouldn't waste anything, and I used that as the gravy. So I put a scoop of potatoes, nice round scoop on top of the bread, made a little hole, put the chicken right in the center, then I scooped up some gravy and put it all on top. I opened up a can of cranberry sauce. That's how I cut myself. <laughs> I put some cranberry sauce on the side so there would be some sweet and some savory. And oh boy, was it good. <laughs> oh, we all were going to town, honey. It was so good. That nice gravy on top. And in me, that's how I served it up for my boys. But since I like gravy, I put my bread then I put some gravy, then I put the potato, then the meat, and then some more gravy on top. Ah, chef's kiss. With, of course, the cranberry sauce on the side. It was so good. It was really good. So that's how I cut my finger today <laughs> with that cranberry. And I need to buy some more of those small cans because that was like the perfect amount of cranberry sauce for the four of us because I fed me and my boys it was the perfect amount for me and the boys that little small can that you buy from the Dollar Tree I'm wondering if they sell the cranberry sauce for a cheaper price at Lidl's I have to look into that if you guys know that are small let me know down below Lidl's or Aldi's yeah because I hardly ever, ever, never, hardly ever go to Walmart anymore. I just don't because it's like kind of far out and I don't like standing in line and then having to check myself out and then paying higher prices over there too and then spending extra time on gas because they're further out. Yeah. So let me know down below though. Uh, I wanted to share with you that I appreciate everything you guys are doing to support my channel and to support me and um, it really does mean the world to me because I know you don't have to stop by and hang out and talk and leave a comment and um, a lot of you interact with other commenters and uh, I know you don't have to do that so I appreciate that you do that I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you some more things once more, I like to be able to kick out, you know, two videos a day or three, possibly with me crafting, making something, chatting, sharing something, you know, I want to get back to that, but I've been struggling. I've been struggling. I've been struggling with a depression. So I'm going to try. I need, I need to, it's not try is I need to, because that'll help make myself push myself into a better to a better space yeah i need to so if you guys can you know be there for me check out my videos support me in that manner when i see people come by and i see that um you know my videos are getting views it encourages me to do more and when I get lower views, I just don't feel like doing much of anything because I'm kind of like, what's the point? There's been a few times I can honestly say there's been a handful of times that I've considered just um, taking a step back for a while and not making any content at all, just not doing anything anymore. I've, I've thought about that a few times, but I know that that's the, the depression that it's, it's that it's that that's talking. It's that that's swaying me and trying to guide my car into the wrong direction. And I have to take control again. I have to take control again, but it is hard for you guys that struggle with it. It's hard. As you know, y you know, you don't want to watch TV. You don't want to listen to the radio. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to read a book. You don't want to have to do anything. I mean, 
you barely even want to take a shower. You just don't want to do anything. You have to force yourself to eat. You got to force yourself to get up, take a shower. You got to force yourself to do the things that you need to do. You got to force yourself to make meals. You got to force yourself to do the laundry. Everything you do is, it's, it's, you're making yourself do it. It's not something that you're doing with joy or with purpose anymore. It's, um, it's something that you're forcing yourself to do. How do you call it? Begrudgingly? Yes, begrudgingly. So I'm there. <laughs> this is not a good thing. I'm there. And as you can see, a lot of stuff's happening here. You know, I decided to let my son pull out a whole bunch of stuff out of this room. Maybe it wasn't the right time to do that because now I am like in this weird space, this weird funky space, and I don't want to do anything. But I have no choice but to do stuff now. Um, but I'm kind of dragging my feet because I'm just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Or just being honest, I'm not feeling it. So for all those out there that are struggling, make sure you go see a doctor. If you need medication, you need your refills, get your refills. Get back on track because it makes a difference. It affects your family. It affects you. It affects every everybody and everything that's around you. Um, it's really important that we take care of ourselves. Make sure you're getting enough vitamins and enough vitamin D. Make sure you're getting enough sun. If you don't, you know, get enough sun, make sure you're getting your vitamin D because that also plays a big part in depression, lack of vitamin D. And it's also a chemical imbalance. It's a chemical imbalance. So um, it's important to see a doctor if you can to get that help. But if you don't have like health insurance, a lot of people just don't. Make sure you sit outside for 15, 20, 30 minutes a day. Get that vitamin D, get that fresh air, read your Bible, get your mind right, um, eat healthy, you know, um, do things that are good for you that your body will thank you for and your mind will thank, thank you for later and um, push yourselves into the positive directions instead of just laying in bed all day because you can't function. You just don't even have the strength to even get out of bed. You don't even see the purpose of it. Force yourself out of that bed. Open up those curtains. Don't sit in that dark room. I do that. I sit in a dark room. I have to open up my curtain. I force myself to open up that curtain. Go take your shower wash your hair, do your nails, touch up your hair with hair color, put on some perfume, get out of your pajamas. Wow. That's a big one. Get out of your pajamas. That's a big one. Um, put on some clothes, some, you know, like you're going to go shopping or something, put on your regular, your regular street clothes, maybe make some phone calls, reach out to some friends, do some FaceTime, you know, Get yourself busy and do the things that you need to do and make a list. Say tomorrow I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to wash those dishes. I'm going to do at least one load of laundry and take it out the dryer and put it away. I'm going to take that shower. I'm going to make myself a good meal. I'm going to get that sun that I need. I'm going to make sure I take my vitamins and I talk to people. Talk to my friends or my family. Maybe take a walk. Get some fresh air. Do that for yourself. And a journal and a diary is always a good thing to, to lean on when you have a lot going on, a lot of feelings. And especially if you don't have support or if you have a lot of negative energy in your home and um, the people that are around you are not understanding or they just, you know, they're in their own world. They don't get it. They, you know, they don't get it. Only another person who suffers from depression understands it. So I'm here for you guys. And I appreciate y'all being here for me. And thank you so much. Okay. So let's hope I can get myself together again, honey. Because it's important. I hope you can too.